All right, we're going to look at another very interesting link here with the Jesuits. Show you that these people are really behind a lot of things. In fact, I'd say if it's evil, they're behind it. Uh, Jesuits Worldwide, we'll click here again, like we did in the previous video. Jesuit Refugee Service. Go back to this thing, the JRS. We'll go down to the bottom of the page to the links section. Okay, now this time we're actually going to go here to the Food and Agricultural Organization of the UN. Hmm. The FAO. And then here at this website. Go down here to the FAO departments and offices to the Agricultural and Consumer Protection. That sounds nice, doesn't it? I mean, we're going to be protected now. I feel safer already, knowing that the Jesuits and the United Nations are concerned for my protection. Down here we have featured sites, the FAO GM Foods Platform. What does GM stand for? Genetically modified. In other words, it's not grown by God, it's grown in a lab. Let's click on that one. All right, up here we're going to go to country under the UN FAO thing here. Country, click on this one because I'm sure it wouldn't be in America, you know. Oh, North America and Southwest Pacific region. Let's click on this, see what happens. Go down here to the United States of America, and I'm sure that when we click on this, they're going to say there's no GM foods in America. It's all conspiracy. It might happen in other countries, but not in America because we are God's nation. Okay, that's what we're going to see, I'm sure. Oh, maybe not. Canola. Canola. Do not use canola in your cooking. Okay, stuff is very, very bad. And I thought this was interesting over, over here. It says fertility restoration as one of the traits of this. Fertility restoration? Huh? What in the world is that? I don't think I want to know. But let's look here at the contact information. Who's the contact between the Jesuits, the United Nations up here, and us people? We have Jason Dietz of the FDA, Food and Drug Administration. So they say, uh, is your food FDA approved? See? You see the organization, how these things tie back to the Jesuit order? There's the website to, or the link to the FDA's own website. Pretty incredible. Down here you have relevant links to documents and information prepared by the competent authority. Yeah, competent authority. Yeah, it's called bought and paid for authority. But it's a competent authority responsible for the safety assessment. You feel safe, don't you? Genetically engineered plants for food. There's your people. And feed. There's the animals that you end up eating. So you're getting hammered in two different ways go you buy genetically modified uh, fruits and vegetables and then you say well I'll just eat meat sorry they're feeding it to the animals as well why a sick population is what they want easier to control them completed cons consultations on bioengineered plant foods that's wonderful sounding isn't it here you have contact details of the competent authority authorities responsible for the safety assessment and the applicant the Food and Drug Administration, and also the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA. Hmm. I once heard a story of a business, a guy I used to work with, and he told me that a friend of his got in trouble with the EPA, and he said they sent a SWAT team in, and they, you know, put, holding the people at gunpoint and things. You know, the EPA. Nice organization. He said, why would they be like that? Well, because they're tied to these guys right there, the Jesuits. You see, when the Bible talks about Mystery Babylon being the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, this is Mystery Babylon. You say, what does the FDA and the United Nations here, the Food and Agricultural Organization, have to do with Catholicism? It's all the same group. They just have different fronts. See? And it's nice. Look at the pretty, like, you know, nice font there and nice little graphics and the fading and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh-huh. Just incredible. 
the Bible, again, is right. There are so many organizations, and they are all tied to the Vatican.